In this video, we're going to look at testing the myotomes of the upper limb. A myotome is basically an area that's innervated by a specific nerve root. So imagine that your patient talks about weakness, maybe not so much pain, but weakness when they maybe lift in their arm or bicep curling. It might well be that it's a neurological deficit of the myotome coming from more than likely the cervical spine. Let me give you an example. The patient lifts their arm into abduction, obviously it's the deltoid and supraspinatus. But if I was to resist the power, and she can resist, then it tells me that the C5 myotome is firing in a, in a normal sequence. And that means that we would grade it 0 to 5, 5 being normal grade and 0 being we're not able to activate the muscle at all. So let's watch again. So the patient lifts their arm, and I apply pressure, and if she can resist, that would be known as a grade 5 power for the C5. What we're going to do now is test the elbow flexion, which is also C5, but now it is a crossover to C6. Now, if I ask you to flex your elbow, please, we can actually feel the bicep. Bicep is innervated by the muscular cutaneous nerve, and it's mainly C5 and C6. And again, if you resist, as she flexes, so that's a good test for C5 and C6. C6 is also wrist extension. If my patient lifts the wrist up and just holds it there and just matches my pressure, match it, and she is strong, so that would be a, as in a positive for a power test of, of C6, and that would be graded as five again. C7 is elbow extension, so if you just push down against my hand, so this is testing the tricep, and that's more for C7, but also C7 would be wrist flexion, so my patient is trying to flex against me, so that would also be C7, and C7, if you just turn your fingers, and then slowly extend your fingers into my hand, C7 is also finger extension. C8, if you slowly curl your fingers into my hand, and I'm trying to separate your fingers, okay, as in trying to straighten them, I should say, okay, so she is pulling against me, that would be C8, and if you open your fingers, and I interlock my fingers against you, and you close and open against them, then that would be testing C8 and also T1 nerve root. If we want to specify the median nerve, if you do a pinch grip, we can resist that, and that will be testing the median nerve, which comes from C5, 6, 7, C8, and T1. If we ask the patient to push the little finger away, that's testing for the ulnar nerve, and that will be C8 and T1. You can also test the ulnar nerve and median nerve in one go by opposing the little finger and thumb and resisting that movement, and that would test you the median nerve and the ulnar nerve. The radial nerve would be mainly wrist extension. Push up again. And also, you can also test thumb abduction. So if you hold your thumb like this and match against me, then that would be resisting for the radial nerve. So we've done C5, C6, C7, C8, T1, myotome testing, and also we tested the strength of the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, and the radial nerve.